excited about today's um, little episode. Um, I've been researching how to make different kind of bowls on Pinterest. Uh, I love how colorful they can turn out and how delicious and healthy they can be. So, oh, by, by the way, those of you that don't know what a bowl is, I'm talking about like rice bowls or noodle bowls. So today we will be making a trout rice bowl, um, obviously with grilled trout, but you can also use grilled chicken if you prefer. And the cool thing about these is that if you don't like the vegetables that I put in my, um, my bowl, you can totally personalize it to what you prefer to eat. Um, so they're really, really fun. They're really easy. Um, and I hope you guys like the video. Okay, first thing we have to do is make the rice. So, um, obviously you're gonna need a rice maker. Um, I'm using white rice, but like I said before, you can use brown rice or any kind of rice, or if you wanna make quinoa, that's a little bit kind of different process. But um, if you are gonna make the rice, any kind of rice, you start with a rice maker, um, a little bit of oil, olive oil in it, and then I just cut up um, two long green onions and a little bit of garlic, and then you wanna turn it on um, let the garlic and the green onion start cooking while we uh, wash our rice. So you're gonna need a strainer. I um, am making about a cup because I'm only making some for myself. So the rule of thumb for making rice is basically one, one cup of rice equals two cups of water. So kind of remember that. All right, so we have our uh, rice ready. We're gonna let this cook for a little longer, then we're gonna put the rice in, put our water in, and then you wanna add salt to taste. Um, so we wanna add also cilantro, of course, we're making a cilantro lime rice. So I usually put cilantro in while I'm cooking it and then leave the lime for last. So I would recommend that you do that as well. All right, so this is cooked, so now we put our rice in. And then I measure two cups of water because I'm doing one cup of rice. Pour that in there. And then I already, thank you to whoever commented on my last video, by the way, telling me to pre-cut everything. Uh, why didn't I think of that earlier? So anyway, everything is pre-cut already for this recipe. So um, I cut up some cilantro and I washed it. So we're gonna add some cilantro to the rice. Um, don't be afraid to add a good amount. You want that flavor to be in there. All right, I'm gonna mix it up. And then you're gonna add some salt. Okay, and then I like to start with a little bit of salt and then um, after it's cooked a little bit, um, I like to try it and then if it needs more salt then you add it, but it's better to have less. So we're gonna close that, turn it on, and we have to wait a little bit because everything else that you need to put on your bowl is really fresh. Okay, so for your fish, obviously you want some fillets. I got little two little trout nugget fillets. Um, you're gonna need some lime. You're gonna squeeze a whole lime on them. And then you're gonna need uh, your seasoning of choice. I am gonna go with Tony Satchery's. So we're gonna sprinkle some Tony Satchery's on there and then we are gonna put some fresh cilantro on there as well. And we're actually gonna make this on the stove top. So I have a little bit of oil in a pan heating up right now. All right, so you're gonna get something like this. And there's a lot of cilantro in this dish, so if you don't like cilantro, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like, just don't put it. I guess you can make it without it, but um, we're actually gonna be making, obviously, the cilantro lime rice. You have cilantro on the fish. And then we're gonna be making a really delicious avocado lime cilantro sauce to go on top of everything. So, Fish is ready, I'm just waiting for the pan to heat up. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make the sauce. We'll make the fish and then hopefully the rice will be done by then. Okay, so for the sauce, um, you are going to need half of an avocado. I'm gonna put that in there. You're gonna need some fresh cilantro, some limes, I think maybe like two, some salt, olive oil, and 
and some apple cider vinegar. your avocado is. Mine was not as ripe as I would like it to be, so it's going to take a little while. Some fresh cilantro. So I have added like two teaspoons of water. You want to add some oregano in there. And lastly, it's going to sound so weird, but trust me guys, a little bit of honey. rice um you have to start getting everything ready if you do everything and lay everything out like i did it'll be a lot easier for you guys to serve also if you're cooking for like a big group or or even like a, just your family if you set everything out like this it could be kind of like a make it yourself um, buffet type thing so i'll show you what i have so you want some fresh avocado some little grape tomatoes lime cilantro um, cooked corn, black beans, and cabbage. I mixed the cabbage with some um, um, spinach because I had it in the fridge. And also for the cabbage, if you're doing cabbage, add a little bit, maybe like two teaspoons of uh, apple cider vinegar and salt. It'll give that acidity and that crunch that you need in the bowl. Okay, now for the fish. Okay, so we have all our toppings ready. Um, the rice is about to be done and we got our sauce. So the last thing we need to do is cook the fish. So you want a hot pan and we are literally just going to put the fish directly on there. It's been like maybe three minutes. These fillets are tiny, so it didn't take long for them to cook. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so the rice is ready and I'm just adding one whole lime and we can start plating. Now the fun part. Okay, so obviously you're gonna start with your rice as your base. Okay, next we are going to start basically just layering everything. Um, want some corn. You want some cabbage. Want some beans. You want some tomatoes. You want your fish, obviously. want your avocado I'm gonna add some pepper to your avocado and last but not least you want to add a little piece of lime just in case you didn't put enough on there for the fish Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Lastly, our sauce. All 
or you literally just want to take a spoonful at a time and just put it on there i like to start with the fish all right and if you want to put some more on i would wait until you mix it up and then you can add as much sauce as you want trust me you're going to want to this stuff is amazing all right Ta -da! i seriously can't tell you guys how amazing it feels when i make a recipe and it turns out just as good or even better than i thought it was in my head so this is definitely one of those cases i mean look at that wow so hopefully you guys try it at home you let me know how you think it's definitely gonna be really really healthy and i'm so excited to eat it um again um if you guys have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next please let me know in the comments below and um thank you so much for all your likes your comments and um for just following me on youtube it means a lot to me that you guys like to follow my cooking journey so till next